running on ice and now it seems against time. This is just one of the 25,000 polar bears that live in the Arctic, a population that's currently stable. 30 years ago, the biggest threat to the survival of polar bears was hunting. Now there's growing evidence to indicate the greatest future challenge to these creatures may be the ecological changes caused by global warming. WWF is funding research by the Norwegian Polar Institute to satellite collar and track polar bears. Scientists learn about the bears by observing them in their natural habitat. No test, Radio yeah. collars send signals via satellite that are used to plot a polar bear's path. From the data collected, scientists can determine when a female enters a den, when she emerges with cubs, and how far she travels every day. The tracking also enables scientists to map a polar bear's range. Determining whether specific groups travel vast distances or only remain within their home range. Over time, this is monitored to see whether there are any changes. For example, if there is less ice because of global warming, what do the bears do and where do they go? Seasoned Arctic researchers have themselves noticed rapid changes to the environment. About five years ago, we were, we were came by here and we were sitting down on the rocks just in front of the of the of a glacier there. And uh, in about five years now, this uh, this whole island has been uh, exposed. So uh, the, the glacier front has uh, gone back about yeah, a couple of hundred meters in five years. Arctic sea ice is shrinking, and since the 1970s, there's been an increase in the number of days each summer where the temperature is warm enough. For the ice to melt. The earlier breakup of sea ice limits the polar bear hunting season and forces them to come ashore earlier. It's now known that if ice melts earlier in the spring by as little as a week, it has significant impacts on polar bears. As sea ice is being reduced in the Arctic, its basis for survival is being threatened. The sea ice is melting earlier in the spring, which is sending the polar bears to land earlier without them having developed enough fat reserves to survive the ice-free season. By the end of the summer, they're skinny bears, and we've seen in places like Hudson Bay that their reproductive success is being jeopardized. WWF believes that implementing the UN Convention on Climate Change and the Kyoto Protocol a minimal first steps if the war against global warming is to be won. It's also crucial to the survival of species such as the polar bear.